Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about Genome Unleashed Ubuntu 22.10 versus Fedora 37. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we know that Genome 43 just got released and some of the Linux distributions are coming with it, Ubuntu 22.10 version and Fedora version 37 are those Linux distributions that use Genome 43 by default for their desktop environment. So in terms of desktop environments as Genome 43, we'll see Ubuntu 22.10 and Fedora 37 and we'll try to compare both of them. So first of all, I'll start with Ubuntu 22.10 and we'll see what are different things in terms of Genome 43 in here. Well, obviously, if you see at the desktop, we have a new background or a wallpaper. And other than that, there are a lot of improvements that have been done in terms of the user interface. First of all, if you just go to your quick menu at the top, just click on it. And here you see we have new quick settings. Earlier, we did not had these kind of settings or options in here. Now everything is like a capsule. And not only that, we have more options now. Other than that, you can access most of the things from here directly. If you see, we have wired. If you just click on this arrow icon, it will allow you to choose another Wi-Fi connection from the available list. In previous versions, without Genome 43, it was not available. Other than that, we have some options that you can access directly. For example, you can open your settings and along with that, you have your screenshots. In previous versions of Ubuntu and in the previous version of Genome, which was Genome 42, this was not available. You just need to click on it and you are ready to take a screenshot of your screen or you can take a snap of any part of your screen. So how cool and how easy it is. Other than that, in Genome 43 and in Ubuntu 22.10, we have new GTK theme. And because of that, if you open your settings, I'll just click on display settings and I'll show you one thing from here. And that is redesigned appearance section have been added separately in Ubuntu 22.10. Here it is. Now you can change the appearance of your system directly from here. And they have added some of the additional things in here. And not only that, now they offer a proper dark setting that you can apply onto your Ubuntu 22.10. Other than that, as we are into setting, there is one more thing that have been added and that is Ubuntu desktop. And with the help of Ubuntu desktop setting panels, you can do different things and you can perform different operations for your desktop. For example, you have dock options, you have desktop icons and you can tweak them as per your liking. Other than that, there is one more thing and that is Ubuntu dog gain app spread or app spread. For example, let me just close this one. I'll open my files. Let me open another instance. Let me open another one. So basically I have opened three instances of my files. Let them open and then we'll move ahead. So here you can see we have three of them. I'll minimize all of them in here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the icon of my files. If I just click on it again, here you can see it has opened all the instances of files in front of me. So now I can choose any one of these. Earlier, this app spread was not available and was not offered in the previous versions of Genome and Ubuntu. So with Genome 43 and Ubuntu 22.10, you will have this feature. I'll just get out of this and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about one more improvement that have been done in Ubuntu and that is now you have responsive GUI for your applications. For example, this is my files. Now, if I change its size or if I resize it here, you can see the dog have been removed or you can say it has been hidden. But let's say you want to see it. Just click on this top menu button and it will show you the sidebar from here. So here you can see now if I resize it back, the side panel is here by default. And not only that, now you will see more spacing between your icons into your applications. If I go with the list view, here you can see we have appropriate spacing available between each icon or you can say between each directory. So that's a really good improvement in this version. I'll just close this one and now I'll talk about some other features. Well now, 
Pipewire has been added in Ubuntu 22.10 and it is the default audio system. If I go into the sound, here you will see we'll have Pipewire. Now Pipewire is responsible for all of your audio and videos. And in Ubuntu 22.10, we have another improvement and that is now we have WebP support available. If I just double click on it, here you can see we have successfully opened our WebP image. Earlier that was not possible. So that is a very good news as now most of the time when you will download a file from your web, it gets downloaded in a WebP format. WebP format is a format from the Google itself. The basic purpose of WebP format is to offer highest quality of images with minimal size. And that is a really good news that your Ubuntu 22.10 supports this. Now I'll just close this one and that was all about some of the basic features of Ubuntu. Other than that, we have some small improvements. For example, now we have LibreOffice as 7.4 and other than that, we have kernel version as 5.19. So these are some of the improvements that have been done in Ubuntu 22.10 and some of the improvements in terms of the genome desktop environment as genome 43. That was all about the Ubuntu and now let's move on to the Fedora and let's see what do we get in there. So this is my Fedora and this is how it looks like. Well, the first enhancement that have been done in Fedora 37 is, is the desktop enhancement. The new version is based on Genome 43 as you know already and it has been released in September 2022. This version only aims to improve the security by giving different warning to users about possible malwares or different device misconfiguration and different apps that have been included in Fedora have also been rebuilt with the latest version of the GTK tool. So now you will have more security at your hand. Other than that, there is one more improvement or you can say there is one more vision with respect to Fedora 37 and that is Fedora 37 have been aimed for the developers. This version have been designed for the cloud and internet of things users. So basically, aimed of this version of Fedora was to help the developer and to make sure that the community of developer uses this particular distribution. And now let's talk about some of the other improvements. Well, as I have mentioned several times that now we have Genome 43. So in terms of the desktop environment and its improvement, if I go to quick menu, here we have the same option that you have seen in the Ubuntu 22.10. But if you see closely, we have less number of options. In there, we had around 6 and here we have only 4. Other than that, interface and the shape of each menu is almost same. We also have screenshot icon available in here. You can directly access system settings from here. You can lock your system or you can opt to shut down, power off, log out from your system as well. I'll just close this one and now let's open the files of our system and let's see if we have UI improvement in here or not. So I'll just click on my files. Let's resize this one. Yes, we do have UI improvement in this. As you can see, it is very responsive. So upon resizing your UI, it hides your panel and you can access it from here just clicking on it. So here we have our sidebar. So let's resize our UI and let's see if we get our sidebar permanently. Yes, we do have sidebar available permanently. Let's go for the view with list. And let's check how much size do we have between each category or each directory. So I'll just select all of them. So now we have appropriate sizing between each directory and each file and folder in our application. So that's a really good improvement and it gives you more control over your application and your content. Not only that, let's just close this one and now let's see if we have WebP support available for Fedora as we had seen in our Ubuntu 22.10. So for that purpose, I'll open my files once again and this time I'll go to my downloads directory. Here I have a picture with the WebP format. I'll just double click on it. Yes, we do have WebP support available in Fedora 37 as well. So that's a really cool thing and a really good improvement. I'll just close this one and now I'll open my terminal. So I'll just search for my terminal into my Fedora 37 and here let's see the kernel version. Because if you remember, in Ubuntu we had 5.19. Here, let's see what do we get. So here I'll use a command as uname space hyphen r and I'll hit enter. The kernel version in our Fedora 37 is 6.0, which is a really good news as it's the latest one. 
Other than that, here I'll use a utility as NeoFetch. This will give us all the system information as you can see in here. Operating system is Fedora, host name is VMware, kernel is 6.0 version. There are 1817 packages. In terms of shell, it is using bash 4.2. In terms of desktop environment, here you can see we have Genome 43.1. Other than that, you have some other information down here. So that was all about it. And now I'll see if we have app spread feature available or not. So before we move ahead to app spread, I'll talk about some of the other updates that have been done into Fedora 37. Well, now the Raspberry Pi 4 is officially supported in Fedora 37 and Python is 3.11 version. Golang is 1.19. GLIBC is 2.36 and LLVM is 15. And not only that, you can go to the official website of Fedora and you will have all the latest information about it from there. And now let's talk about the app spread. So for that purpose, I'll open my files. I'll click on it. I'll open another instance of my file. And let's have another one. Now let's see if we have app spread feature available or not. And now I'll click on my files icon. No, we do not have app spread feature available in Fedora 37. But other than that, we have another thing. And that is if I press my super key, it will show you all the instances or all the applications that you have opened in your system. But it is not as equal to app spread. So this is one of the feature that is missing in Fedora 37 with respect to Genome 43, but we have seen some improvements that are not there in Ubuntu. For example, Fedora is aimed for developers and in Fedora we have kernel version as 6.0 and things like that. And we also have seen that WebP is supported in both of the Linux distribution. So this was all about the Fedora 37. And now at the end, if I were to conclude and if I were to say which one of them is better, I would still go with Ubuntu because it allows you more control over the system. It has more settings in your settings panel. It offers you more support from the community. And not only that, it is more mature than the Fedora. Yes, there are some features that are as equal to Ubuntu, but still Ubuntu feels like home. And it has all the things that you might want in a Linux distribution. Other than that, it's all up to you that with which one you want to go. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope now that you must have liked watching this one. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.